In Manisi, we have 1.8 million years old humans, our ancestors. We have many groups of animals and stone tools produced by humans. And it's interesting, the story of the Manisi started in 1983 with discovery of rhino. And today, rhino gives us opportunity to start a new life of the Manisi site and Manisi fossils. With help of our colleagues, we got now proteins from the uh, rhino bones, and which enables us to see a new picture of evolution. So it gives us chance to look uh, for new way on uh, old fossils. So it helps us to see absolutely new picture of evolution. The amount of fossils in Manisi is really impressive. And the group that uh, study the fossils, the paleontologists, has um, a lot of material at their disposal. Uh, um, the mammal fossils uh, are composed of bones and teeth. And teeth, in particular, are the most hard tissue of a skeleton. And this gave us the opportunity to look inside the, this hard tissue, the enamel, uh, looking for something very, very small, so the molecules. And uh, we were able, thanks to our colleagues of the University of Copenhagen, to find proteins preserved in tooth of uh, mammals in this case of a rhino, uh, 1.77 million years old. Uh, the proteins that were found in this specimen were able to give us genetic information and to reconstruct the phylogeny. It, it, it means the uh, genealogical history of this animal. The importance of finding proteins in such old fossils, it opens a really new branch of study that we can call the molecular paleontology uh, that open uh, the opportunity to study uh, the genetic properties of the animals in uh, fossils that are one million years older than the oldest fossil that has been studied with the ancient DNA. So really a new frontier for the paleontological studies.